You made it, this is awesome time, the show where I tell you about all of the new things happening at VAT19. And stick around, we're doing a golden gummy challenge, and I figured out how to cheat to win. Welcome to episode 129 of Awesome Time. Remember to subscribe, hit the card to our email newsletter so you can get a coupon off your next order. Turn on those bell notifications. We do giveaways all the time. And uh, Kara says that the punishment for this golden gummy challenge could be, well, I'll let her tell you. So, it could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. I think it's got a little goodness mixed in with the punishment. Okay, I don't know what that means, so. We'll see. We'll see, all right, stick around. Okay, before we get to the products, we gotta do our paperwork here, the shout outs to the fam squad and all that. Uh, <laughs> okay, first up, we have a new mystery box. So our small and large mystery box have been the most popular items on VAT19 for the last six months. We've added a new one, the Mega. It's $74.99, and usually the retail value of the stuff in there is around like 100 bucks, so you're saving like $25. It's awesome. I wanna do a quick update on the hashtag VAT19 summer giveaway that we're doing on Instagram. All of your submissions have been awesome so far. All you gotta do, wherever you are this summer, Record yourself singing the VAT19 jingle. You could win something awesome. Here are some of the previous winners. VAT19.com Those are some pretty sweet jingles. Okay, gotta send a shout out to Guava Juice. He made two videos, one, two. Was that right? Yeah, you counted right. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Eric. Roy made two videos about Mad Matter and they were both pretty awesome. We sent him like a hundred and plus pounds of green Mad Matter. He put it in his uh, bathtub. He did a lot of cool stuff with it. Mad Matter's awesome. He made great videos with them. Uh, check it out. And then finally, Check out this uh, vlog from Alex Clark. We sent him a couple of our Star Wars battling drones and uh, he seemed to have a lot of fun with that. Okay, we got our first product, throw it in, blade side up. This is the slot dog. You're probably thinking like, do I need the slot dog? I think you do if you like hot dogs. I love this thing. It is a grid of stainless steel like blades here um, that you press into your hot dog. All right, let, let me show you how it works. Got a dog here and I'm just gonna take the slot dog, I'm gonna press it in. Oh, you can hear it. So these slots, when you cook, provide some more surface area. All of it gets like caramelized. The slots also kind of grip on to your toppings. Holds that sweet relish on there. Kara cooked a few of them for us ahead of time, cooking show style, so I can show you what it looks like. Yeah, that's a cooked one. Let's let's dress this dog up. Just yellow mustard? Put in the comments what, what condiments, how you like your dog. I can't wait to get my slot dog going. Oh. <laughs> D to the M O D to the O dude. M O dude. Hmm. I'm guessing demo. Yeah. Took my hot dog. Sorry, I don't like mustard only that much anyway. So whatever. I think Garrett's got another one over there. Garrett, throw me the other dog. Throw me the other dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Nine a.m. hot dog. Nine a.m. hot dog. Love it. Uh. Uh, Eric, that's the slot dog, folks. Um, I love this guy. So quick and easy to use. Get your slot dog now at that19.com. Send me the shrooms. All right. <laughs> this is the boom shroom. It is a uh, Bluetooth speaker that looks like. A mushroom. Kara, go ahead and just play play anything just to, to get some sound coming out of this guy. All right, hold on, let's stop, stop, stop. I already stole my hot dog. Don't steal my boom shroom. Play something good. Kara! <laughs> Turn it off! 
stop! <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay, so it, it's your typical kind of Bluetooth speaker. It's uh, some controls on the front here, right? You can skip uh, forward and back tracks. You can pause and stop. Recharges with USB port here. And if you want, you can shove an SD card full of music in there as well. But my favorite feature is the psychedelic light show. So let's cut some of the lights here. <laughs> Once upon a time when I heard a beat, I took a seat in the corner with my two left feet. I had no rhythm, I couldn't keep time, I couldn't even walk into gum at the same time. But all that changed with the party bear. Alright. Alright, that's the Boom Shroom. It's my new favorite Bluetooth speaker. Get one now. S'more me, s'more me. All right, this is the microwave s'more maker. Simple concept, you build it up here. Use these little arms to keep everything in place. You throw a little water in the reservoir here, which ensures like even microwave heating. 30 seconds later, you got a perfect s'more. So let, let's, let's make one. We got microwave over there. Go toss this in the microwave, bring it back out, show it to you. Oh gosh, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh dear. You're right, I do say oh dear all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we did about 40 seconds in this microwave. Look, it's held it there. The marshmallow didn't melt so much that it's like everywhere. The chocolate's just starting to go. Oh gosh, that chocolate is going. Oh, mm. oh dear. I kind of squeezed it, so I'm making a mess. S'mores are supposed to be messy though. Mm. I'm kind of a messy eater, clearly, but the s'more is perfect. Oh my gosh. Come in and get that. <laughs> mm. Oh! You guys go You're hurting me. Get more from them. The microwave s'mores maker makes perfect s'mores. It does not make me a perfect s'more eater because I am a messy man. Get yours now. Oh man. I am dirty. All right, next up, we should probably hand this one in. All right, this is a desktop magnetic dart game. You got nice stainless steel construction. The magnets are strong enough that when it hits, it sticks. They don't kind of hit and then and then kind of slide off, right? What a lot of magnetic dart boards do. I also like this one that it's uh, double-sided and it's adjustable as far as uh, height goes. Yeah, you can just take it, <laughs> well, it's adjustable. All right. Yeah, even from the side, you know, they're sticking pretty good. <laughs> That's a double three. Double 17, pretty good. This is the desktop magnetic dart game, and it is this episode's Golden Gummy Challenge. I challenge you, Eric! Yeah, that weird seat again. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> what color do you want to be? I'll go with yellow. Okay. Mind games. All right, we're just going to play one game, and whoever gets the most points wins. That sounds fair. <laughs> We're good. We're warming up. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's 19. a 19. Oh, I'm in the crapper already. Oh, 13. Is that a 13. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Ooh, that's know. triple 11 because it's on the smaller one. Nice. I'm s not gonna win. Oh, I knocked you out. And I, well, it it it, it doesn't matter. Oh, Do we want to get our ones that missed? And the negotiations begin. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah! Dang it! Yeah! Oh man, feeling good. Oh, How are you? It's kind of starting to look like me, I think. I've won it so many times, it's likeness is kind of becoming me. All right, bring in my punishment, Kara, who said it could be good could slash be good, bad. Could be good, man. Yeah. Depending we'll on how out. you look at it. Yeah. Loser enjoys a very special s'more. She's gonna, she's uh... gonna, she's gonna put something weird on the s'more. What's on that s'more? It's a powder of something. <laughs> oh, I didn't even be. notice. It's Burner Bliss chocolate plus fire dust? Yeah. A spicy evil s'more. Mm -hmm. It could be good. Could be good. Could be good. Right. Depending on the bite, you gotta eat the whole thing though, right, Kara? No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I think I got a good one. Pretty good. Nice job, Kara. I'm retiring from this spicy thing. All right, guys, it's time for a new segment called Story Time. Book is Up Island by Ann Rivers Siddons. I first knew my husband was being unfaithful to me, not by the neck, not by the back of my neck, but by the skin of my buttocks. This is like, where is this book going? Anyway, she was as erratic and glinting. Whoa! And then he and Livy would begin closing the house and getting the boats hauled and stored. And I would. This episode's story time was brought to you by the Magic Butterfly. These are really cool little wind-up butterflies that you can put into cards and books. They're made in the USA by hand, and you just wind it up, set it inside of a book or a card, and put it in there. And uh, when someone opens a book or a card, it flies away. That's the Magic Butterfly. I think it's pretty cool. So get yours now at 19.com. Fire. Throw it in. All right, this is the mini firefighter. It's a fire extinguisher in a can. It's super easy to use. You just press the top, right? No ring to pull out or whatever. It's small and easy. You can keep it anywhere on a countertop or just, you know, wherever it's handy. It uses foam to put out the fire and the foam in here expands 40 times its size and it works on all the most common types of fire, wood, gasoline, electrical, and grease fire. It's non-toxic, it's biodegradable. You just wipe it away clean when you're done putting out a fire. So handy. So I'm gonna set a little fire with our quick fire fire starter, available now at bat19.com. The quick fire can get a flame up to about 10 inches, so. I don't know. Tell me when you want me to put it out. Yeah, it's getting pretty big, yeah. Okay. I mean, that was the littlest little spray. And boy, did it put out a whole bunch of foam. Instantly put that fire out. So it's been about three minutes since I sprayed the um, mini firefighter and there's not a lot left. I can, you know, just wipe most of this clean. I've got one in my kitchen around my house. I think it's a really, really cool idea. This is the mini firefighter extinguisher from bat19.com. All right, before we get into fan art, I wanted to let you guys know that we give tours. That 19 is located in beautiful St. Louis, Missouri. And if you're ever in the area, come on by. Go to that19.com slash tour and you can get all the info to sign up, come out, meet some of the folks that work here and that are in the videos. You might see us making a video, take a tour of the studio and the warehouse, buy some stuff. It's a ton of fun, so check that out. All right, time for some fan art. All right, that was an amazing collection of fan art. If you want to send in your own, here is our address. We would love to get it. Please send it in. You got to fill up that wall back there and you'll see your fan art in a future episode of Awesome Time. All right, it's time to wrap this one up. It's been great. This has been Awesome Time 129. Check out the videos around me. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And make sure to follow us on social media. We do weekly giveaways. We'll see you next time. Bye. Back 19. Oh, <laughs>